Hello everyone, Gabilon here with a video for Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, my plan here is to go into standard with a best of one deck. I got a Boros aggro deck and I will quickly run through it. So the set stars of the show here is, well specifically it's Anim Pakal. Anim Pakal, whatever. Whenever she attacks, uh, she will make a 1-1 gnome that is tapped and attacking based on the number of 1-1 counters on her. Uh, basically the plan here is to just be aggressive, attack, 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 don't really care what happens to them. Uh, I can draw cards from Wedding Announcement, it will also make the creatures I make stronger. Uh, Norn's Wellspring will gradually provide, uh, scrying and card selection as creatures die and attack, or they'll go through. Uh, the Lunark Veterans and Rabbit Batteries are there just kind of for, I guess I'll say, uh, early plays, just so I have something out there, and plus they do synergize pretty well. Since I do want to be actually attacking, Rabbit Battery can attack itself. Also attach itself to another creature that doesn't have haste. Uh, I have Cathar Commander, Cathar Commando, sorry, as uh, both a creature and artifact and enchantment removal. It can be flashed in, which is very handy. Get Lost is just straightforward removal. Uh, Invasion of Gobicon. This can look through my opponent's hand and basically just pick out things that are problematic. Uh, Light Shield Array can also act as uh, indestructible. Well, it can give indestructible and hexproof to an important piece just for one turn. And honestly, that one turn is enough you need just to just simply kind of get a blowout on your opponent. Um, what else? Wedding Announcement, Token Creation, and gives an enchantment aura, an anthem. Virtue of Loyalty, absolutely devastating on the enchantment side, but the Tutu Knight is also great. And Depopulate is my board wipe of choice because I don't have a lot of board wipes and I am kind of sad on wild cards. Also synergizes with Gobicon because uh, it will destroy. As for lands, uh, I got 22 of them. <laughs> I'm going to be real lands, probably my weakest aspect here. We got four Sundown Passes, two Battlefield Forges, one Restless Bevoke. Um, a Mirex probably would be good here. Actually, do I even got one? I might just slap that in right now. There's probably more utility lands that uh could be thrown in here, but that's fine. I'll just do one. I don't want to get crazy with this. I'll actually, you know, I'll do the responsible thing and take out a creature. There, now I got 23 lands. Uh, this deck list will be down below, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing best of one standard because uh, I got. I'm gonna be recording this, but I don't want to be here all day. Alright, first up to bat. Um, that is a keeper to me. I have turn to play, flash in a creature, and swing with an Ipical. They are... Oh, they're probably five color domain, aren't they? This is gonna be rough. Okay, I'm still going to flash in something. Definitely not going to play the Scoundrel, because that's just asking for something to be... Yeah, they're five color domain. Alright. Oh no, they're probably going to cheat something out from the graveyard, but I'll just take it as it comes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do Virtue of Loyalty, because I want to hang on to the Commando in case they have some kind of enchantment or Leyline Binding or some nonsense like that. Anyway, let's see what's going on here. Encounter it, kill it. They have swamp. Yeah, I think they got all five colors. Oh, I got two of them. Sweet. Drop the planes. Need the call. Let's see how they react. Counter spell. Oh, interesting. They just simply are fishing for more lands. I was really expecting for some kind of interaction, but I'm not about to complain. Oh, and they got 23. Did that give them life? Oh, herd migration. I always forget that. Alright, what are you gonna do to her? Copy of any creature. Oh, they got their own now. I 
can't believe it. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna do the thing I said I was gonna do. And I'll drop a Lunark Veteran just to get some like thing going. Uh, it might not matter in the long run because I feel like they're probably going to pull some shenanigans, drag like in a track, so from the graveyard or something. Alright, what's your next move, buddy? They've just dropped Virtue of Loyalty next turn. Another Greater Tanuki. They have a lot of lands, but only two cards in hand. And again, one of them just needs to be a track, so. Um. I feel like they got another Leyline Binding, but I do have a Cathar Commando. Oh, what am I worrying about here? I should just attack and then react. Uh, I don't really care if the gnome dies, so I'll send him. Lunark Veteran, I kind of care about dying, so I'm gonna... Not. Alright, I sent a board wipe coming. Um, I don't know if it's going to be Incubate or Farewell, and oh, that has a Disturb. Create a token that's a copy of Enchanted Creature. Oh, that's neat. Eh, we ball. I mean, if this isn't Screaming Board Wipe, I don't know what does. I mean, you gotta have one, right? There's like no way in heck this actually goes through. Heck, hey, I meant to dole. I can swear. Oh, that's not besides the point. I'm gonna be real. I do think it's hilarious that my last video was just me getting absolutely embarrassed in a in a draft, and then I just kind of go off the face of the earth for a couple months, and here I am now. Ah, oh, shield counter. You got one mana left. Well, yeah, I don't. I don't think this is gonna go well. Uh, I probably shouldn't even play that in the first place. That's fine. I'm gonna just your token. Uh, so this is game, right? Oh, I'm so upset. Alright, drop the farewell, I assume. We're the virtual loyalty. Making a copy of a gnome? Not an Impical or the veteran. Or the scoundrel, even. Yeah. Seems about right. Sorry, buddy. I did hit Mythic with this deck, so that is pretty neat. Um, I think it's solid. Okay, round two. I did, I feel like I put up, I practically had like ideal conditions in that hand. So maybe we'll see what this, how this performs without that. Um, yeah, this is a little bit less than ideal. I do got removal though. Got two lands, rabbit battery, pawn gusher. I could draw a land. Are they mono red? Ooh, they're mono red. Looking for a mountain there. Don't want to hurt myself. Oh, I'm about to get smoked, aren't I? Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, I got a lot of instants and flash. So I'm just gonna hang tight and just see how this turn goes. I think I actually want to save my Cathar Commander for next turn because I can block him. Ugh. 
That's yucky. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna just hang tight and see if they have like a monstrous rage. All right, I think I'm. Mm, I'll take a third camera. Oh, I got baited. Ah. Hmm, you're gonna be real here. It's not looking good for me. The arc veteran. Uh, I'll just make a wider board. Oh, of course, I got to hurt myself. Create a treasure. Rabbit battery. So if this board died to end the festivities. Festivities. God, I can't act. End the festivities, that's it. Yeah, it sure does, but I don't think I've really seen that card in a minute. Watch them pull it out right now, that'd be hilarious. Oh, this is where the monstrous rage comes in, huh? Um... Why do I care about living? None of them. It's cold and callous as it may be. Oh, no monstrous rage. Uh, I will drop... Nothing. Put away on my turn, get my bonus up. And I'm concerned what my brother is going to attack. Oh jeez. Um I'm like dead, right? Well if I'm gonna oh I'm so dead. Well if I'm gonna die here I could at least show off a neat little play here. Watch this. Alright, flash in the commando. Lock Monastery. Thank you. See, I'm getting some respect here. And then I can sack it and kill one of these boys. Anyway. Okay, round three. Pyrexian. Um, short on lands, but I can roll with it. Got two draws, I like those odds. I don't know what I was expecting, their name is literally Pyrexian. Perfect! All right, um, this might be a bit funky. I quite frankly don't know what to expect. I think they're going toxic. Either way, I'm just gonna chill. Oh God, I don't know what I want to take. Both of those things are a problem actually. Not, not really feeling the- Oh, it's Venerated Rot Priest. Oh. I think I'm dead. <laughs> I am just quite frankly not used to seeing this deck, like, in any capacity. Like, I've seen black and- I think this is probably the only color combination I have not seen, a uh, Venerated Rot Priest in. Wait, did they miss a land draft? Oh, that ain't good. I'm so sorry, rest in peace. Oh, they're missing land drops. Oh no, I'm so sorry, buddy. Um, well if that's the case. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Mm-hmm. 
And life doesn't really matter, so I'm not going to play the Lunar Veteran. I don't want Double Strike. Now that I realized, uh, if they're... Yeah, if those, they're those colors, they're probably going to beef up that job. I'm about to call him Job Breaker Duelist. Um... I mean, they can't block. Oh, they got all mana screwed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, they're tapped out, so I mean... Trying another one feels kind of rude. Yeah, I'm so sorry, buddy. You know, I just realized I don't have a really set end goal for this deck. I don't really know what I'm trying to accomplish other than just get in there and play some games. Uh, what, I'm up two wins, one loss. Um, ooh, let's keep this. And send back. Who's going first? Is it me? I'll send back a its opponent. Oh man, I was hoping for like another land because I think uh, Rabbit Battery into Invasion of Gobicon is probably the most whiplash you can probably give an opponent. Or you can just keep having that too, that's fine. Oh, so you get to do what I can't. Oh, I see how it is. Um, okay, wedding announcement, pretty good here. Um, Invasion of Monica, don't care, frankly. Losing that, uh, losing those cards kind of hurts, but that's fine. Battle, battle. Anyway, yeah, I don't really care about them knowing that I'm playing that first. Let's drop it there. Um, I'm probably gonna, if I draw another land, I'm gonna, mm. well, who cares what I'm gonna do with another land. You know what? I don't need, I don't need her. I got two Lunark veterans in the grave. Oh, God, the hand is so full. Oh, I should have kept that. Okay. You know what? That's fine. The past is in the past. I'm gonna slap that battery onto this bad boy, and I'm gonna leave it as a defender because I don't want that battle to turn over because I don't want them to steal Adeline or whatever monstrosity they got in there. Ooh, yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah, I don't want that. Okay, fine. I don't even care. I don't even care. What could you possibly do to- oh, yeah. That is something you could possibly do to me. Um... So I'm gonna be real with you, everybody. Uh, this is not looking too good. Is it because they have a 6-6 six, six and they're probably about to get Another disgusting creature out on the board. Yeah. And do I have one card in hand and is it a 1-1 one, one with haste? Yeah. And, uh... Uh, what is that? Oh, that's neat. Cute little guy. So what exactly do I need here to get out of the situation? Um... Um, I don't take, take a wild guess how I'm going to react to that one. Yay! Um, what do I need? Like, seriously, I don't know how to get out of this, from being honest. A board wipe would not help. Um, 
please don't make me discard my precious baby boy. Oh, I don't care. Oh. Yeah, I think that's what I was looking for. And get her out of here. Well, give me back my stupid girl. It's not stupid. Yeah, she needed to read the room. Okay. Um, it's a little bit more in my favor, but I feel like they have a way to deal with the virtue of oil. Okay, that's fine. It's not really fine, actually. Oh, this is horrendous. Oh, uh, what are you going to do? A fusion? Theresian Mindbreaker? I feel like that's probably what you're going to just do, right? I think I need a board wipe. Oh, you grab an Adeline? That's not bad here. Oh, that's mean. That's really mean. Well, at least I got faith. I don't think I'm playing this right. I'm feeling like I should probably concede, if I'm being honest. Oh, that doesn't matter. I think it's Menace. Yuck. And all they have to do is manage to draw one more card in a black, green, in a black and blue deck. Or kill my rabbit. I'm sure they have no way to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, uh, now what is it going to be? It's going to be another Cathar Commando. I cannot take that. Oh, that is emotional question. Can I at least have this? Please? Ugh, yeah. Yeah, this is kind of miserable. Is that what it's like facing my deck? Man. Oh, wait, I might be in this. I can get card advantage. Sorta. Oh, how close are they unearthing that? That close, I see. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, how many cards are even got in Okay. You know, a board wipe might not actually be that bad name. Nope. 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 Yes, thank you. All right, now let's see what they got going on. Oh, crap, they can Virtue of Persistence. Wow. That's disgusting. This doesn't even matter, really. I guess I'll take the Whale of the Forgotten. All right. I see how it is. Uh, Murex. It's a little guy time. I could probably throw in more utility lands. Like, I think the red channel one would probably pretty, be pretty good. Maybe an Igonjo. The Audacity.
All right, well, first... Oh, that's instant speed. I'll just be annoying and wait till the most inconvenient time. Oh god, what are they going to grab? I really feel like there's no wrong answers. If you just want to grab a Somnifage... Oh my god, they're so rude. Dude, that's fine. That's like my whole thing. Oh wait, you get two of them? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. What is this thing? This is two life gain, two life gain. Nice. Yeesh. Pretty good. I think a Terror Tide would be pretty, pretty good right now, you know? I mean... Oh, what are they doing? Turn target non-land permanent to the hand. Target both discards. Top three. Okay. You would do that. You would do that. And then they discard. Oh, that's so mean. Uh-huh. I think I should just let that happen, actually. Yeah. Um, they have one, two, three blockers. I have three not flyers. Just you wait, once I get that flipped over, it is so over. I'm gonna make my great comeback. Just you wait and see. Oh, what are you about to grab now? Well, joke's on you, I only have a mountain. That's why I kept it in there literally just to bluff. But God, did I already mill my second depopulate? Okay, you know what? It's not getting better. Um, all right, two wins, two losses. Uh, we'll just do this and see if I can get three. God, I really had no plans with this. I also don't want this to be like two hours, so I'm just I'm probably just gonna call it here with this deck. I got a bunch of other standard decks and brawl ones. Um, evoke, yeah, let's roll with it bit land heavy but I got a utility land at least you could even draw a rabbit or something I'm feeling really optimistic all right buddy show me what you got uh so this is always control I just said I don't want this video to be like two hours, dude. Come on. Alright, let me take a peek. If they'll allow me. Oh, they got some black in there. Uh, cut down the scary. Oh, now they're Esper. That simply makes it a tiny bit more tolerable. They're tapped. I mean, they gotta devote their entire turn to it, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to slap it on the Scoundrel because I kind of want the battery to stay alive because that one can just sneakily live alive on. Also, I am very happy with how the turn turned out. Honestly, if they spend their whole turn trying to cut down something, I'm probably just going to sack it, honestly, because this is a pretty good lead. Unless they lay on the Veil. Uh, oh, nope, they don't have the mana at the moment. There. That's probably the right call.
Are they going to have another cut down? Well, awesome. I didn't have to do anything there. I can make it to the end phase. I feel like I'm set. Oh, they're double blocking the rabbit. That's fine. Unfortunately, the gnome will not get the trigger because it did not declare an attack. It just kind of came out swinging. That's fine. And even if they veil, uh, I don't really care because I can just sack the gnome. I'm kind of scared they have another piece of removal, but let's just see what happens. Sweet. Another revelry. Revelry. Should I just provoke? Actually, yeah, that's what I should just do. Gnome it up in here. Uh, yep, I want that to trigger first. Slap that on the name to call. No matan. Oh, you could double block the land actually, that might be the way to go. Or just save yourself a damage, yeah, that's also pretty reasonable. Um Anyway, your move, Bucko. Oh, actually, they are in board wipe range. They could fare well my ass. They do not have a board wipe. Oh, what is this? The wrong way you just look up at him, blah 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 blah, return up to one target, creature can't attack it, block. Make old guy with death touch, with battlefield, blah 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 blah. Um, I mean, the beauty about of the name Bacala is that she herself doesn't need to attack as long as it's not a human, so uh. Let's just send one, two. A three in case I have some shenanigans. One at you. You at you. Need to call. She's just gonna hang tight. And then I get four life, because why not? That little whatever voice line. Oh shoot, I don't remember if I can... I think you'll be able to hear it. Anyway, what's next, bucko? What you got? Yeah, I kinda had a hunch. But you know what I still got? Oh, that's hilarious, actually. Um, first... Press the spell cloak. Yeah, this is exactly what I meant by it coming in clutch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.
be outsmarting me. Ooh, she's back. All right, let's get both of you out of here. You kind of a problem. Actually, I don't really care about Juliana at the moment. Slap that on her. Yeah, I'm gonna send him all to Elspeth. I don't care if I sack a gnome. Farewell, take two. Sunfall. Anything? Uh-huh. So they're not board wiping. Or they just mistimed it. Or misplayed. Yeah, I don't really care about the gnomes. Um, do care about Elspeth, so let's uh, get her out of here. Anything? RIP in peace. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They got the Wandering Emperor, don't they? Gonna call the bluff. Ah, oh, I should have played Virtue of Loyalty instead. I think I might just through the game. Oh my god, I think they just had to land. Oh, I choked. What are you putting back in your hand? Get your planeswalker, your Elspeth. Okay, well, at least now they got that. They don't have Wandering Emperor anymore, they can't. That's a board wipe. And she's still alive. What you got? All right. I gotta be certain about this. Uh, okay. Um, slap that on her. And that's gotta be game, right? I probably could have ended that sooner, but I kind of just played it too safe. I mean, I'm an aggro deck. I gotta be aggro.
Okay, and that about does it for this. Uh, I'm going to call here now. I'm probably going to come back with other decks, but uh, probably not anytime soon. Uh, maybe I'll make this by regular weekly. I don't know, I think the Taste of Carlot thing comes out in February or something. Who knows? Either way, I'm pretty happy with how this one came out, so I will see you next time, whenever that is.